I'm Ricky Lee, and welcome back to the Diary of That Girl. Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Ricky Lee here. Right now the time is like 4 o'clock. I have a meeting set for 6 p.m. with one of my good friends. She's entering a business pitch competition and she wants me to help her making her presentation look really pretty and that's like my expertise so we're gonna do that. And we have to make a post later for Bobby and Madison that's cake. I'm just gonna draft something um, while I'm out but I'm gonna show you guys my little outfit. I decided to wear this today actually because I'm gonna go run some errands on my iPad because I'm taking this to the grocery store with me of course because I made my grocery list. I plan to make a bunch of juices. I got a really beautiful juicer and it's literally called beautiful. I need to get some cucumbers, raspberries, blueberries, um, I need to buy bananas. I'm gonna make smoothies again. So I'm just really just trying to heal myself through food, really taking care of myself because I've been eating out a lot. And I really just need to provide myself with structure again, getting back to setting boundaries because y'all, February was like a hell month for me. And today is the first day of the month. And so I'm really just trying to get things in order. I got my wardrobe together. And I wanted to give a special shout out to Jerly Sheet for helping me out with today's video. They sent me so many amazing goodies to show you guys. So make sure to check out the links in the description box to grab any of these items if you're interested so these are all of the amazing goodies that they sent me they sent me like eight pieces this is the one i'm most excited to try on this is like that one sweater that everyone's been hooflaing and and screaming about she's super cute i could wear this with like a little skirt or something this next piece y'all so cute oh my goodness i don't know what it says all over it i don't even care what it says all over it but I've been dying to get with like the cardigan trend and I just don't have any cardigans really. I have my green one that you guys have seen me wear so many times because it has an R on it and I got it from Akira. I could wear like a cute little silver bag. Like you guys know I have my silver bag. I would put on some heels, um, wear this off the shoulder or I could wear this open if I have on a top under it, but I don't have a top under this. It does have pockets in the front, which is nice for my girlies who don't like to go out with a purse. Now this is supposed to be like a little knockoff of like a Dolce & Gabbana. I mean, these jeans are working well with literally everything that I'm putting on, but you can always put on like leather pants. It's always nice to have just good basic tops like this. And like I said, a lot of this, everything is lightweight. It's not extremely heavy material, so it's breathable. This is like very sheer. Um, I'll give you guys a close-up look. It's got more writing on the back. And it's just super cute. And they also sent this gallery department shirt. And like I can tie it up um, into a knot, make it more, you know, feminine looking and less boxy. But I love how boxy the sleeves are. I like when my shirts have like a drop sleeve like this. So, and it's kind of boxy. I think that just looks really flattering. You can like tie it up in the front. You could knot it up in the back. Like there's so many different ways that you can wear it, but I really like the design overall of this because it's so minimal. Then they sent me these pants. I'm going to move back as far as I can so you guys can see them. They flare out towards the bottom, which is a little unexpected, but I like. I feel like I would definitely have to wear these with heels. Let's keep in mind that I am 4'11". I typically wear a size 6 in jeans, and I got these in a size medium. They are a jegging material, so they aren't true denim they're definitely more stretchy so i would go down a size if i were you i don't like the way that they fit i think it fits really well like the crotch is like abnormal there's like three inches away from my crotch i hate that kind of space so if you're into that get into it but me i'm not into that. it's not very flattering on the buttocks either i think the shape of a pocket can really make or break the way your booty looks. And the shape of these pockets aren't doing it for me. It reminds me a lot of Skims. This is a true white. This is not like a creamy white or anything like that. This is true white. But like I was saying, you could wear this with like this little cardigan and it would be so cute. Like this is so cute. And you could wear this with like some bubble slides or Converse and like some crew socks like you can do a variety of different things but I think having these sort of basics is so important but this is not too thick like it's very it's very thin and it's got a lot of stretch to it so if you like your stuff to fit real tight 
I highly recommend probably going down a size. I love this blue color. Like this is the thing I was most excited about to try on today. Like this blue color is absolutely gorgeous. I would love for these to have been a little bit tighter. Like I said, I'm really weird about crotches. Like when it's dropping and it's droopy like that, that really bothers me. This brown with the blue and then I have these like super cute New Balance shoes that have like browns and blues and oranges in it and it would look really really good together. If you guys are interested in anything that I tried on today make sure to check out Jirly She and all the links down in my description box. But right now we're about to go to the store to grab this stuff and I also found out about this butter. It's called granola nut butter or something like that but I really want to try it with my oats because I do like oats. I like overnight oats and all that jazz and I do have some overnight oat jars and I really want to get into that bag of like feeding myself in the morning so I can be really um, satiated and just feeling good for the rest of the day so yeah we're about to head to Whole Foods I've been going to Trader Joe's as well as Giant Eagle but I feel like Whole Foods um, is closer and Trader Joe's is like a whole day trip like it's like 20 minutes there 20 minutes back don't have time for that it's traffic now it's four o'clock so I just want to be quick I'm gonna head over to Whole Foods, grab my stuff, and um, hopefully organize everything, put it inside of my fridge and stuff. So midway throughout the week, I have like some actual food and stuff that I can eat and enjoy. I'm in me mom's car. Vroom, vroom. Get out my car. Aw. It's time to go. supposed to There's so much stuff though I pretty much just got everything that was on my list I got carrots I got kale yesterday but I didn't use both bags for my soup so I figured why not just make some green juice with that? So we've got my beautiful juicer right here. I got some blueberries for my rolled oats. I also ordered through DoorDash, not DoorDash, I Instacarted some of the um, granola butter. It's vanilla flavored and it's by this brand called Oat House. And I'm really interested to see what that is like because I heard through a TikTok, I watched this TikTok and this girl was like raving about it and I think it's gonna be really good. So it was 20 bucks, it was $10 for the container but by the time we got through shipping and all that stuff, it was gonna be 20 bucks and I knew I needed to come here and like hurry up and get started on making these green juices. So it's a new month, we are starting with a fresh start. So let's get into it. Um, new month, new goals. It's March. Crazy that it's March already. It was just January and we were just doing daily vlogs and here I am um, leveling up even more and trying to do better for myself. So let's get into it. I got all my fruit and stuff there. I'm going to kind of look up the instruction manual because I've never done this before and I need to... Uh, sorry y'all, my camera most definitely just died. But I only have 45 minutes to figure out all this stuff and make at least one juice. So let's make it happen. I have these big bowls that I got from Target quite some time ago. Um, these really help when like prepping loads and loads of food or like washing potatoes and stuff like that. I'm going to first start off by chopping up all of my produce. We've got quite a lot of stuff. So let's start there. This is the ginger. I don't need that yet, but I do need to cut up these apples. So I'm gonna grab my cutting board. I'm grab my cutting board. A couple of apples in here. We're just gonna do two for now because I honestly don't even have anything to put this juice into, but I wanted to try this out today. Um, just to like get my feet wet with juicing. And I love this knife, y'all. This knife is too good. Like, when I say it's too good, y'all, it's too good. Just discarded that in there. 
I don't know that it's necessary for you to cut it like this, but I just am. I'm honestly just going to put that there. I'm actually going to put this in here. Oh, bam. I don't know how small people want to cut this stuff, but I'm just going to do what I can with what I got. And I don't have time to be dealing with that core, so I'm cutting like... Not along the core, but like beside it. I'm finally done juicing everything and I'm going to show you guys the aftermath. This was a pretty messy process. I've got kale all over the floor, but this was so much fun. Like I'm so excited to do this for the rest of the month. I'm really getting into my health and wellness and just start juicing. Now this juicer did have a little bit of some stuff going on. Like it was spilling out. I don't know what was going on with that. I don't know if that happened on the other side as well. It did. As you can see, it's like spilling out. So, girl, you're going to have to fix that. <laughs> but this juice is literally like such a good cocktail. Like, it's so good. I just added in some ice, but literally all I used was lemon. Um, I used the celery, the apple, and that was it. You can add ginger as well. I didn't add ginger this time. Um just because the sun is going down and I also have a meeting in like 15 minutes and I want to add some raspberries to this half. But guys, this is very, very good. I'm really excited. I'm gonna order on Amazon tonight um, a few items so that I can properly juice at the start of every week now and have them all stored inside my fridge. But I'm just really excited. It's a new month. We're starting new habits. Like we're getting in our bag. We got our new clothes. This month, I have a lot of goals that I wanna accomplish before um, I get out of school, which is going to be next month, and I really have to start thinking about what's next. Like, what are we going to be doing? Am I going to be working? Am I going to just be doing my business this summer? <sighs> Let's write some things down. It's time to reflect. And I really just like to take audit of the previous month that I've had using my monthly reset inside of my That Life Planner, and it's right here. It just asks me a variety of questions. On the monthly reset, if you guys have your That Life Planner, it's so important to do this before you start a new month. It asks you really great questions so that you can set your intentions for the new month. And so the first question is, what did I accomplish? Ask you, who am I? Who can I be? And a whole bunch of other questions just to really see like what you wanna do and set yourself up for. And then there's like buckets um, for each goal sector. So like but um, goals for school, goal for your business, goal for spiritual, goal for personal. So yeah, that's pretty much all that I need to do. So I'm going to outline my goals for the month. I want to win a business grant. And I'm going to do I will statements just the same as I did at the beginning of the year when we did like my vision board and all that type of stuff. I do I will statements instead of just like goals or whatever. It's just more um, likely that I will accomplish it. I feel like if I just speak it into existence. So I will win a business grant. I applied for a business grant last month um, in February. And so hopefully that will happen for me. I will win a business grant. I will plan a 
summer masterclass tour, I will reach 20,000 subscribers. Now, spiritual, I will attend church every week. I will join a small group. I'm taking baby steps. As you guys know, I just started going back to church earlier this year. And so I want to really get into the godly community. I started going to church in January. So now I just need to like slowly get into seeing my people. So that's that. Personally, I have some goals. So I really want to lose 10 pounds. So I will lose 10 pounds. And y'all will hold me accountable. We'll see. I don't even own a scale. But I will lose 10 pounds. I will prioritize my priorities. And lastly, I will be proactive. And those are my I will statements for the next month. I'm looking ahead. I already started jotting some things down on my monthly calendar. But this is just my monthly calendar i go through here and i write down like when i will be booked and busy when i have certain things going on so actually this thursday i am booked and busy i need to copy and paste that sticker over to thursday because i actually do have a podcast that i'm going to be filming and then i also have another podcast recording um on the we have the let's talk social on march 11th i have the let's talk social on march 11th I have a podcast recording on the second a podcast recording on the 12th so i'm just doing a lot of speaking this month and then i have spring break from the 11th through um like the 20th so i will be in chicago i'm really really excited and then i'm going to the key glock concert in chicago on the 29th so i'm booked and busy on all of those days so everything else in life and then that month is gonna have to be going around all of that type of stuff yeah i'm done with that we've set our goals for the month and whatnot and my friend actually just texted me and told me that she needed to make herself something to eat so she's not going to get here until 6 30 which is great for me because that means that i can charge my device my apartment is an absolute mess right now. I'm putting away all my clothes from the hall because y'all, we do not need to be having a, place, a crazy living space. Wednesdays are typically my day off from school, so this is my day that I just like focus on content. <laughs> away y'all oh, it just feels so good is it just me or do you feel like you're invincible like you can do anything when you start the month off right and you just like get everything in order i am just chilling i just got back from the meeting that i had earlier down in my clubhouse with my girlfriend for her business pitch competition we just sat down and um, got her presentation together and I just took out some time and I made some overnight oats. And if you guys want to see my really delicious overnight oats recipe, make sure to check out my TikTok. I did a whole video, but I did get the granola butter. The guy actually delivered it while I was in my meeting. And it was hilarious because I had totally forgotten that I had um, Instacarted it from Thrive Market. But y'all, I'm about to show you. The consistency of this is like cookie dough. Like you know how cookie dough is really buttery um, because it has softened butter in it obviously and it's just very very delicious now this jar was ten dollars that's pretty expensive i don't really buy peanut butter or anything like that so i don't know what to um 
what to compare it to because I don't buy nut butters because I'm just really not a fan unless I'm eating like apples in a nut butter because I don't like to add sugar, honey, stevia. Like I don't add any of that in there. I just add that and it gives it the brown sugar cinnamon flavor without me having to add in like whole bunch of crazy stuff so i just add in my almond milk that and then i added in this today and it thickened it up a little bit which is good because i'm a very particular texture person like for the longest i couldn't eat bananas i still to this day cannot eat mushrooms like they're just way too mushy so adding this in added a little bit of a thicker consistency to it which was nice and this might be my new obsession like shout out to julia from TikTok for talking about this last night I watched her video because she was saying that she was thinking about breaking up with her fiance because he took her um, granola butter but y'all this is literally so good you can blend it in your smoothies and have like a vanilla -y flavor I'm thinking like if you were to have chocolate protein and you put this in there like literally so good another thing that I've been loving this is just like things that I've been loving okay another thing that I've been loving are the Cacio e Pepe puffs these are cheese and peppercorn and rice snacks. Way too good. I keep these refrigerated. I do a lot of things in weird ways. I don't know. People might think I'm crazy. But I put these in the refrigerator. I keep them cool. And so when I pop them out the fridge, I just pop it in my mouth. And it's like a cool sensation. It's like, mmm. It's just yummy. I was at the grocery store. I picked up something new. I got the Olipop drink, and I've heard great things about this. But this Olipop is apparently, it has prebiotics, botanicals, and plant fiber, and it's a sparkling tonic. I love Sprite. I'm not that much of a Coke girl, but I love Sprite. So we're going to try this out and see what it's talking about. Not like an orange soda kind of girl. Let's see what color it is. I feel like everything tastes better out of a wine glass, so... Yeah. Earlier today, I made my green juice and I drank it out of a wine glass because I'm extra. This tastes just like an orange cream soda. It's $3 for a bottle. So I don't know if it compares to like a 50 cent can, you know, but it's so much better for you. And it has that kickback into it because... I honestly would go on, you know how like people go to wine tasting and stuff like that? I would go to a pop tasting. And I know you guys are probably like, Ricky, what the hell are you talking about? But I really would. I would be able to tell you from whose pop is from McDonald's to whose pop has been flat and aging for 60 years. I could probably tell you where it originated from because I'm a pop connoisseur. Me and my mom could do it. I don't know. They should start stuff like that, like a pop tasting, spritz tasting, sparkling tasting, a tonic tasting. <gasps> oh, my God. I just came up with someone's whole marketing plan, a tonic tasting. Okay, Olipop, hire me. Add me to your marketing team. I've come up with the plan. You're going to have tonic tastings and you're going to invite all of the amazing influencers and you guys are not going to drink from wine glasses because wine is ex wine glasses are exclusively for wine. What you're going to do is you're going to get really cool glasses that are going to originate from the Olipop. And the Olipop glass is going to give a silhouette of something like a wine glass, but it's going to shoot out or something like something along the the tech the uh, along the technicalities of like keeping the sparkle alive, you know, and you're going to encourage a new culture, a new wave of drinking because there are whole cities where all they do is drink pop or sodas, whatever they want to call it where they live. And you can go in the line and order like a cream soda drink and stuff like that. I learned all about it on TikTok. So yeah, a tonic tasting with all of the influencers that love pop and flavored drinks. And they don't even have to love them. Just invite them. For an up-class and upscale experience, tasting drinks. <laughs> this is what I needed, guys. A time to kiki and sit here and remind myself that, like, although all the circumstances that I've been in have been very stressful, I'll be alright. I just got home from the store. I'm Tasty Penny today and I grabbed a whole bunch of stuff to revamp my apartment for spring. Um, I feel like there's just been a lot 
missing in my space as far as like greenery and just really tying all the stuff together. So today we're going to be revamping this space. Now I need to get a before of like my living space because it lacks like greenery, you know? And I still have all this stuff up from Christmas. Like it's not Christmas anymore. So I need to take videos of pretty much everything. My pillows have definitely seen better days. They've been like laid on. So, I'll here in this corner. Would that be cute? It's not like high enough though to give like, you know, like if I was to put, you see, you literally can't see it over there. So I feel like, oh, that space right there. No, I think that's kind of cute. And then it's pompous on the other side. I don't know. I'm gonna have to think that one through. I'm extremely thirsty. This is like problem solving 101, but I don't wanna like start doing things. And then if I go, I don't like this. Ah, oh, that looks so pretty. I was not expecting to actually like it. I mean, I wanted to like it, but like I was a little nervous just because my couch is black, but it's a nice little pop of something. I also got a door wreath because I never have these. I'm gonna put that on my front door. Yeah, I actually don't like this blue. I think it goes as well. So I'm gonna take this back to the store because I don't like the way that that looks. I gotta testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. For the day I die, I'ma touch the sky. Gotta testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. For the day I die, I'ma touch the sky. Back when they thought pink polos are hurt the rock before camp. I just finished refreshing my space. Everything looks super duper cute. And I decided to move this over here. Refresh the little kitchen space. This over here next to this basket. We wiped out all of the Christmas stuff right there. I moved my plant from my entryway over here. That right there. I don't know his name. But he put his back into this food. And they didn't have shrimp the last time I went. This is the best food I've had in my life. This is better than everything. When I say, <laughs> like this is crazy. Even the salad be busting in here. Mm. They be putting a little extra love into my food. It's clear. He wants to date me. 